I'm Fred Davenport with BCS Media. I'm here with our superintendent, Dr. Mark Sullivan. Doc, this has been an amazing and successful year in Birmingham City Schools. Fred, you described it right. Our scholars, our educators, and all of our employees have gone above and beyond this year, and I'm so proud of all of them. You know, when you see this kind of success, what stands out the most? You know, our main business in Birmingham City Schools is teaching and learning. Uh, we want to see good results on both of these fronts because when we do, our scholars will reach their highest potential. At the end of the day, that's what matters most, and that's why we're here. This year, the number of third graders reading on grade level significantly increased in Birmingham City Schools. As a matter of fact, 81% of our third graders are reading on grade level. We still have a lot of work to do to help that remaining 19% and all of our students continue to raise their level of achievement. Talk a little bit about instruction and how it increases student achievement. You know, you often hear us talk about, uh, the use the phrase, tier one instruction, and that's a fancy phrase, but what it simply means is that it's good old fashioned teaching, uh, targeting the, the needs of each and every child and when you have a strong foundation in tier, of tier one instruction, you'll see the effects of it. Students will demonstrate their achievement in life and on standardized tests, and they will be designed, now those tests designed to gauge our students' mastery. So you'll see that when you see increased levels of tier one instruction. Our hardworking educators in Birmingham City Schools are doing an outstanding job, not just at third grade, but from pre-K to 12th grade, all of our educators of making it happen in BCS. That's really great. Are there any other moments uh, from the school year that you would like to highlight? You know, once again, Fred, we have two of our Birmingham City Schools teachers who were named Teacher of the Year in Birmingham City Schools, but they were also part of the Sweet 16 State Teacher of the Year program. And I want you to think about this for a second, Fred. Out of all of the thousands of teachers throughout the state of Alabama, our educators are consistently ranked among the best. This speaks volumes about the professional work that happens throughout our district every day, and our work is being noted. It's being noted by you know, organizations like the New York Times, Ford Ma Forbes Magazine, and we will also feature on the NBC Nightly News. That's really good. Mm -hmm. You know, we enjoy telling our own stories. Uh, we also have a lot, we also love it when external media shares what's happening inside of Birmingham City Schools. Absolutely. Now that the school year has ended, what's next? Well, we call it uh, our sensational summer of learning. This is our summer programs, but it's more than just traditional learning. Our educators are ready with learning opportunities for our students who need to recover learning and get additional assistance but we also have enrichment, music, fine arts, and much, much more. We provide free transportation and meals are provided. Already, Fred, thousands of students have already registered, but we still have space for more. If you're a parent out there and you want your child to be a part of our sensational summer of learning, you still have time. It starts on June the 11th. You know, Dr. Sullivan, yeah. as I mentioned in our past updates, parents want to know, when does the next regular school year start? So scholars return to school on August the 5th for the upcoming school year. Uh, registration is happening now, so if you have not registered your child for school, please do so. We need all students to register for school prior to the start of school. And if you haven't registered, please go to www.bhamcityschools.org to register. We want to have all of our resources in place so that everybody is ready for learning on day one. What that does, Fred, is it makes sure that we have enough devices in place, we make sure we have enough teachers in place, it makes sure that our bus routes are in place for students, and we make sure that students who register for classes, that they can make sure that they get the classes they, they register for. So it's important that we register for school mm -hmm. before the start of school. And before we close out, is there anything else you want to share with us? Fred, we've had an amazing year in Birmingham City Schools this year. We have seen some enormous highs. We're getting a lot of national attention around the work that our teachers, our parents, our community is doing. So I know that the best is yet to come. All righty, well, www.bhamcityschools.org is the place to go to see all of the latest happenings inside Birmingham City Schools. Success starts here. <laughs>